Hi y'all, I'm here at Prepping Texas Homestead. And what I'm doing today is uh, working on building a nest box. Uh, I bought some, uh, that one inch long AstroTurf and I'm putting it as the bottom and I'm putting it on a two inch slope in 16 inches. And uh, I'm guessing that's what it takes, but I'm gonna test that theory right now and make sure the egg will roll out from underneath the hen and out of the nest so that it doesn't get pooped on by any other chickens. Let's check that out. I could see where the egg would actually hang up, but I think a hen going in here messing around and bumping it, the egg will eventually roll out, but it's not rolling out the way I want it to. So I may go about a half inch stronger on that slope. Okay, y'all, what I did was I'm gonna, I'm gonna go three inches and 16 inches, and uh, that will pretty much secure the egg rolling out. If the egg is laid long ways, it's not gonna roll anyway, but a hen will bump it eventually. So that's gonna be my theory, but I think it's the one inch thick uh, AstroTurf that is holding up the egg the most, but I wanted a soft area and hopefully I don't regret using one inch thick. Okay, so I made my first board with a three inch slope and 16 inches. I left a little section going out for the eggs to roll out of the chicken coop. This will, I'll cut the wire to let this slide out of the chicken coop and the egg box will be this part inside the coop. I've got my first one cut 16 inches this way. It's like 12 or 13 inches this high. And that's gonna be the wall of the egg box. Now, I used this one to make a template and I created four more. So I got five of these total and that will give me four egg boxes. So let's see how it turns out. So I had some leftover scrap boards from when I built this fence. And in my quest to save on materials and use scrap materials as much as I can, I use the face boards that will be facing the outside wire of the pen. I just use some cedar leftovers. Take a saw and cut off this extra on each end. And that'll keep a raccoon or anything from reaching in and grabbing a chicken if one stays on the nest at night. So all of this plywood has been scrap plywood that I've been collecting from the job sites for years. And I'm putting it all to use. This thing's probably gonna be pretty heavy. Luck 
luck would have it, I have enough of these. And you know, these are really super light. Help this thing lighten up a little bit. But I'd use all plywood and extremely heavy. With these, it's gonna make it a little bit lighter than we do. They'll go on like this, and you see this one inch gap. This will look perfect for ventilation of the nest. All right, I got my nest box out here. I've got my slot cut in the wire in front of the chicken pen. So the idea is you lift up the lid here and get your eggs. Okay, so I've got me a, a leg here with some screws that I can adjust up and down with if I need to. If I need to raise this side of the box, I can unscrew them, pick the box up and screw it back in. You wanna make sure you put a level on it once you got it mounted and you're at least close to level. I'm a little bit on the other side, but I think with that three inch to six inches, we're good. Right here, we're pretty much level. So that's gonna maintain our slope on that bottom part that I cut to roll the eggs out. All I need to do now is tie the wire into it, put the outside hatch door on it, and then put the carpet in. And of course, maybe some little climbing ladders for the chickens. The door set. So I'm gonna screw it on to the back of the egg box. Now I don't want no long screws going through here to poke the chickens in the butt. So I'm gonna put that on with these little short screws. Lay the carpet with the direction it's flowing, going down the slope so the eggs roll easier. So in theory, the chicken will lay her egg, egg will roll out into the tray. And then the tray is here. This is where you gather your eggs turned up so it doesn't hit no board and crack. I forgot to mention is do not glue or tack these in. Leave them loose. That way you can remove them, take them out and wash them. All right, while using the one inch tall AstroTurf, you've got to put a four inches and 16 inches slope to get it to roll. Uh, you don't want it to roll real fast. You just want it to roll. You want, and sometimes it'll hang up, but most of the times the chickens bump it around, they will roll it on out of the nest. And once this AstroTurf gets a little flatter, it will probably roll a little bit better as well. So got to do a little trial and error with me here today. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this nest box works out. Hoping the, the eggs roll out, get away from the hen and stay clean. So until next time here on Prepping Texas Homestead, y'all stay cool in this summer heat. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.